Hi guys, um, what follows is a video of our, um, our drag racing bike build up from sort of from inception up until the day of the actual racing. We, we decided we'd do sort of a small little bit of a kind of a documentary type of thing. Uh, Buddy Wayne Damien came to me with a GPZ 900R and it had a GPZ 1000 RX engine inside it. Lovely bike, but he bought the bike as a sort of an unfinished project. Wasn't too sure what he wanted to do with it. Um, we originally had an older GPZ 1100, but this sort of came right and it was a beautiful looking bike and perfect for the job that we wanted it. So guys, um, the process of the build and getting it all ready and the whole run is in the sort of the documentary type setup that follows. So guys enjoy it and uh, see you later guys.
guys, uh, we right, we have the complete front end on now, we except for the mud guard. Um, calipers are on. Uh, they're uh, locked tighted in. What I must do is I must just get the torque settings right on them. Torque setting on the axle, the front wheel axle, and the torque setting on the the um the center stem nut. Basically, all torque settings for the front end. I must just get I must look up and all of them because I don't have a book for this bike. So I've got to look up them and get them all sorted. After that, we're down to uh, hooking up the brake lines. Uh, I must make a bracket for the ignition because the ignition on the original bike, which I'm on this bike, which I'm using, um, is much too big for this. So I'm going to have to break that, offset the ignition from the original placings of it. Uh, we get that sorted, and then we're down to pretty much bleeding the clutch, bleeding the brakes, and getting this thing out and testing it. some rattle off of that joke lad <laughs> savage isn't it happy days guys we have a fucking up and running bike all we've left to do now is uh, clutch to bleed the clutch and fit and bleed the brake lines put the front mod guard on and she's ready for a test Um, you've heard you heard the bike running in the last video. She's driving like a train, so really, really well. Um, test ride produced uh, sort of one or two small issues. Well, one main issue, to be honest. Uh, the as you can see there, we have brake fluid here, so these clips are not doing their job. So we have to replace them. That would explain why I couldn't get a proper solid bleed out of the brakes. That's not a big deal. That's a small thing. Um, next job I must do is which I'm change the oil. I've also got to drill the the head of the sump plug and the head of the sump plug has to be wired for safety reasons. And I've also got to drill the oil filler cap and that's got to be wired as well for safety reasons. So they're my next two jobs now that I'm going to do this afternoon. Okay. Uh, I said while I'm lying down here doing a few jobs I'm actually putting on the belly pan but I must make two brackets for it because when the bike arrived with us it only came with the the set of back bolts here and it was just resting on the oil cooler at the front so I have to make two brackets to go from the frame inside onto these holes here um, while, I'm at, while I'm down here I said I'd show you one of the jobs we have to do for the drag racing is to make sure that the sump bolt is wired and the, as there's not a whole pile to wire it to I drilled the, the head of the oil filter as well and I wired that as well so the two of them are tied together so neither of the two of them can come loose so the oil cap on the other side has to be done as well and as I was fitting the calipers today I wanted to make them for sure they didn't come loose so I did them as well just to be on the safe side so guys the next job now is as you can see down here if you look down there the mounting point is down there but the hole is up here so I must make a bracket node to go across that divide just to support this on both sides. 